Hi, this is Mato. In this video I will show a very instructive chess game. This is the game between Judith Polgar and Angelova that was played in Thessaloniki in 1988. Where is Thessaloniki? It is a city in Greece. In this game Judith had white pieces and she started with e4. Angelova played c5, knight to f3, so we have Sicilian defense. Bishop to b5, and we have Rosolimo attack. g6, this is Fianchetto variation. White castled. Bishop to g7, c3, with the idea to push pawn to d4. e5, but this didn't prevent d4. Pawn takes pawn, pawn takes pawn, and black captured with knight. Let's go back. Book move is pawn takes pawn, and then bishop to g5, queen to b6, attacking bishop, knight to a3, knight from g to e7, knight to c4, attacking queen, queen to c7, and this is better variation for black. Never mind, let's go back to our game. Knight takes on d4 was played. Knight takes knight, pawn takes on d4, pawn is protected by bishop. And now, very interesting move from Judith. e5, that is to stop knight from coming to f6, so knight has to go to inferior square. Let's go back, why not taking the pawn, is that good? If bishop takes, then rook to e1, attacking bishop and after f6, f4 and black would lose bishop. That's why in this position knight to e7 was played. Bishop to g5 pinning knight. Black castled. Queen takes on d4 and very interesting move from Angelova. Knight to c6 attacking queen and white can also capture black queen. Is that good to take black queen? That would be disaster. <laughs> then knight takes on d4 and now black is one who is winning. Bishop on d8 is under attack from rook. Bishop on b5 is under attack from knight and also knight is looking to jump into c2. Okay, so Judith didn't capture queen. She played queen to h4. Queen to b6 attacking bishop. Knight to c3, defending. Bishop takes on e5. And now, very interesting move from Judith. She played rook from a to e1, setting a trap for black. What is the trap? Okay, let's have a look. Bishop on b5 is protected by knight. All you have to do is to remove defender and then you can capture bishop. That's easy. So Angelova captured knight first. Pawn takes bishop. Queen takes on b5. And black is very happy in this position. So she thought. All she has to do is to exchange queens and then she would be winning. But of course that was a trap from Judith. She had no intention to exchange queens. She wanted to give checkmate, so this is first step. Next step is bishop to f6 and then queen to g7 checkmate. So, so to prevent bishop from coming to f6, queen to f5 was played. And it is white to move. What would you play in this position if you had white pieces? If you wish, you can pause this video and you can try to find the killer move that white played in this position. Are you ready? The move is queen takes on f8 and black resigned. Why? Okay, so the only move is king takes queen and now check. King can go to e file because of rook, so King to g8 and now rook to e8. Check mate. What a beautiful game. And that is all. 
I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you lots of success with your own games and bye for now.